good evening. My name is Jason Debley and tonight's whiskey is uh, one that you may not be familiar with. It's from Scotland. Uh, it's a single malt scotch from the Speyside region and it's called Glen Toshers. Glen Toshers. Probably never heard of it. But the good news is you've probably tasted it. The distillery was found in 1898 or 1897, depending on the textbook that uh, you consult or the website you visit. And the Glen Toshers was founded by um, an individual, his last name was Buchanan, who was involved in uh, Buchanan's Whiskey and in Black and White, which is still a brand that's available today, a soft blend. And today, Glen Tosher's Distillery in Speyside produces about 3 million liters or 3 million plus liters of uh, whiskey a year, uh, spirit that's distilled and, and then eventually that single malt is sold to uh, blenders, uh, ends up in uh, brands like Teachers, Highland Cream, um, I don't know about Black and White anymore, uh, Ballantine's Finest allegedly, and uh, a few others. And so my whiskey club, we like to try different whiskeys, not always the same old tried and true or the most popular brands. We're always looking for the latest, greatest, well, not the latest, greatest, but an interesting uh, little diamond that nobody knows about. And so last time I went on a little shopping spree with uh, the club funds, uh, Ken and I uh, found this one, Glen Toshers. Now, Glen Toshers is a distillery that has only ever released its single malt once uh, as, a, as a bottling all by itself, and that was in 2000. And I think the age statement was a 15-year-old single malt of Glen Toshers. Since then, they haven't released any themselves, but what they have done is sold some of the uh, spirit to independent bottlers like uh, Gordon McPhail, uh, Duncan Lang, or D Douglas Lang, and Duncan Taylor. And this particular release is from Gordon and McPhail. So they bought the spirit in 1994. They did all the wood management, meaning they decide, they chose the bourbon casks, the sherry casks, maybe Oloroso casks or whatever, and they did the aging, uh, and they've come up with this. So it was distilled in 1994, bottled in 2014, so 20 years there. And it's 43% alcohol by volume. And the format is a 700 milliliter bottle. And the kicker is the price, $140 in Canada. This is not cheap whiskey. Nevertheless, my club had not tried it. I had not tried it, except in the blend of Ballantines or in Teachers. So we wanted to try it. It's always interesting to try something different, something that's expensive, but you don't have to pay for it. So I paid for this, you know, over time with my club dues along with the other members. I wouldn't normally pay $140 on a totally unknown commodity. But uh, it's a, that's why Ken and I went out and bought this and a few other obscure whiskeys that may turn up in future video reviews. The nose is nice. It's uh, lemon, a wee bit of peat, not very much, uh, lime peel. It's, it's, it's very citrusy. The palate is lemon, it's lime, it's citrusy, as I, as I detected on the nose. But then there's some ruby red grapefruit. It does have a malt character that comes out later in subsequent sips. Um, I like it. Chunks of pineapple. And the finish... You're left with good quality sherry, star fruit, 
apricots. There is a kind of a balsa wood note to this. It's good. It's very good. It's not fantastic. I don't know if it's worth $140 a bottle that I paid in Canada. Maybe in the United States or in the UK it's cheaper. Um, I'd happily pay $85, but I won't get into a value for money proposition on this. Because over time my video will be outdated on that, on that point. Sticky honey. Again, pineapple chunks. It's a nice whiskey. So, if you're out and about, and you're at a liquor store, and you see this bottle, Glen Toshers, distilled in 1994, bottled in 2014, it's a good space side single malt. Uh, not incredible, but it's very easy to drink. It's a nice sweet drop. Uh, it's almost like a dessert whiskey. If you like Glen Morangie, Nectar d'Or, uh, 12 year old, if you like light ethereal whiskies, uh, Glen Kinchy 12 or Glen Kinchy Distillers Edition, you're going to enjoy this whiskey. This is virtually no peat, hardly any smoke. In fact, I, would, I don't even really mention smoke in my review, and it's really not there. A light, sweet dram of grapefruit and lemon zest. I enjoy it. I like it. Cheers. I hope you enjoyed this obscure review. Have a good day.